Where else should investors be looking and what stocks should be avoided? Joining me now is Dan Genter, the CEO of RNC Genter Capital Management. Dan, it's good to have you here today. This is music to your ears, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, Kelly. You know, I've been I've been singing this song for quite a while. And I think uh, the fact that it was going to come to fruition was just obvious, frankly, because it, it is the only game in town. I mean, you're we, we manage a lot of bonds, so I like bonds. But the reality is uh, the math is what it is. And it's going to be very difficult for people to achieve a significant you know, long term uh, outperformance, if you will, or even keep pace in bonds. And the uh, reality is, is that, you know, the high dividend stocks that are generating you cash flow, cash flow that at max is going to get taxed at 20 percent and 15 probably for most people and then get you a little growth. It's going to be one of the few games in town, if not the only game in town that also gives you some liquidity. So your capital is not committed for possibly years at a time. One more question to you, Dan, which is we are not seeing a lot of movement. If anything, yields are falling in the 10 year today. Do you want to just comment on that? Because people are buying, you know, government bonds for some safety here. It has not exploded to the upside. What would you tell people who aren't so sure that we're going to see runaway rates this year? Well, I don't think that you're going to see runaway rates. I think the, the Fed is going to be very calculated. They're going to be very sanguine. Uh, they've been true to their word that they're going to look at the data and interpret the data. And when they're telling us they're likely to have three rate increases, I think the outside chances, maybe you have four. But we've got to consider that that's a 100 basis points increase from where we are now. So even if you go from 25 basis points to 125 basis points, the economy is, is not going to come to a halt and crash. I mean, when, when I started in this business, Shortly thereafter, you know, the prime rate went to 21 and a half percent and we it was uncomfortable, but we all didn't die. So I think people are not going to go to all equities. It's, they've seen certainly it's a dangerous world out there. Uh, they're, they're not going to put you know, everything into the fire, but they're going to reduce what they have in bonds and new money is, are going to go probably into equities. 